I'm actually really excited for this soldier stash video. Today we are going to be talking about the gunboats, probably my favourite secondary weapon for the soldier out of all of the ones I think that exist. So I'm excited to finally talk about it. I did think that this one would have been the battalion's backup video since we did the buff banner last time, but going by the wiki it turns out that the gunboats were the next one, so I won't complain about that. Anyway, I just want to remind you guys that if you're not currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, you really should click on the button. We're aiming for 100k by the end of this week or you know, like the end of the month or something like that. It's a super insane goal. We're ridiculously close, but I need your guys' help. So if you haven't subbed, click the button. Thank you. So the gunboats are a secondary weapon for the soldier. It's not really a weapon, more like a, a tool, a accessory. I, I'm not really sure. They are described on the wiki as a pair of modified metal reinforced jump boots used by paratroopers. And I was going to make a joke about jump boots and if they were even a real thing. But then it says they're used by paratroopers bit. So yeah, they're real. Um, don't tell me you never learn anything on this channel. Or maybe you lot already knew this stuff and I'm the only one learning anything. This video is also sponsored by Quicksell.store. They are an online trading website with a huge inventory of stuff that you can trade for, which is really nice. And sometimes you can even buy stuff in that site for around buy orders, which is quite rare and you don't normally get to do that. There is also a giveaways tab where every single week they give away an unusual. So definitely make sure you check that out. And the site is fully automatic. So you don't have to be trading with actual people and you can trade at pretty much any time of the day that you would like to. The link will be in the description. Definitely go and check them out. They are a really awesome site. I've used them before in the past. Definitely recommended. So you can get the gunboats in unique quality, vintage and collector's quality as well. I personally have a pair of vintage ones that I like quite a lot. And I wish there was a strange one that would count how much damage you do to yourself or something like that. It might be quite cool. I'm not really sure though. I feel like every weapon should just somehow have a strange. That was a really, really hard sentence to say. Like there's things you could count for every weapon, I guess. Anyway, the whole point of the gunboats is to dramatically reduce the amount of damage you deal to yourself when you're rocket jumping. In fact, it reduces the damage taken from rocket jumps by 60%, which, if you're good at numbers, you will know is more than half. Clever. Again, you're learning stuff today. Something that I didn't know that's actually super useful is that this doesn't actually take effect when the rocket damages an enemy and you jump with it. Which is why you sometimes deal loads of damage to yourself when you shoot an enemy who's right in your face or something like that. So that's actually really cool to know about. They also don't reduce or remove fall damage from the soldier while he is rocket jumping. And I feel like they've put that there as like a legal disclaimer. Anyway, I really like the gunboats for the simple reason that they allow the soldier to be so much more mobile in games. If you know me and you've been in my streams or whatever, you'll know I like to play games super fast. Do a lot of damage, get some kills and maybe just maybe get out. But that's not always on the cards or even what I actually want. But if I could kill everyone and walk away, then I'm happy. And the gunboats allow me to do just that as a soldier. I could jump into a bunch of enemies. If I take a little bit too much damage, I can rocket jump away on little health and hopefully not die to fall damage on the way down, which for me is perfect. This also means I could be doing more rocket jumping while I'm not actually fighting anyone. I could be getting to the front lines a little bit quicker if I knew the jumps, but that's a whole different beast. And I might not always jump around as much as I should to make the gunboats worth it, but it's all stuff I'm working on and trying to get better at. But the fact that the gunboats are equipped means I'm much more confident when jumping around and just rocket jumping generally. I also feel like at that point, I'm not just jumping, then running for a health pack, jumping away from the health pack again, trying to find the next closest one. And like I'm constantly looking for health because I have a shotgun equipped. Another byproduct I've noticed of using the gunboats is that I get better with the rocket launcher I am using at the time. Since it's the only way I can actually deal damage other than my melee weapon, it means I've been getting a lot better at placing rockets, hitting direct hits when I am using the direct hit, and I can actually defend myself with whatever launcher is in my hand, and I'm not like completely hopeless when somebody gets in my face. Now, some of that might be because in general, I feel like recently I've just been getting better at aiming in games, but not having a shotgun to fall back on means I have to be good with the rocket launcher. And that has helped quite a bit. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on the gunboats since I really, really like them. Do you enjoy using them for jumping all over the place or are you more of a shotgun kind of person? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to read through some of your reasons. 
And I think with that, that is going to do it for the video. There's not a whole lot you need to know about the gumbos other than that you can do a lot more jumps with them, which is all you should realistically need to hear. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, I'll be live streaming when this video goes out. So if you want to come and hang out, click the link in the description. We've been fighting to stay above 100 Twitch subs over there. So if you can help me out, that would be great. You don't have to though. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.